Hi everybody, I'm Wendy from Very Wendy Studios and thank you for joining me today. I'm going to talk about yin yoga, which is a beautiful practice and I thought I'd take you through a seven minute yin program. You can certainly carve out seven minutes of your day to do something wonderful for yourself and I'm sure you're going to feel the benefits of yin. Yin yoga works on our meridian energy lines, our chi that's flowing in our bodies. So we hold these poses longer than usual, usually three to four minutes a pose. You really want to lengthen and just release into the pose, letting your ligaments get long, your muscles relax, and then focusing on your breath. So it's also meditation. So I'll just take you through a few poses and we're going to start. You want to maybe have a blanket handy or a block. If you don't have a block, you could use a couple books. Um, and you want to sit up on something so that you're creating length in your spine, so allowing your breath to move with ease throughout your body. So hands are gently on your knees, and just close your eyes. So inhaling, filling your lungs, breathing only through your nose if possible, and exhaling, moving your breath from your heart center down your spine to your root chakra. Coming into your true essence of yourself as you focus on your breath. In this way, we experience our peaceful abiding, which is within all of us, when we stop to connect with ourselves. A couple more deep breaths here. And then gently open your eyes. We're going to come off our bolster. And we're going to take our block. If you don't have one, no worries. We're going to come into Baddha Konasana. It's a hip opener. And you want to have your feet together. And they can open like a book. That's OK. You don't have to keep them closed up. You want your knees to just relax. If you have a block handy, putting your feet on top of the block will increase your stretch in your hip flexors. So on the inhale, we want to lengthen through the crown of our head. And then on the exhale, we just want to fall over. So adjust so that your feet feel comfortable for you. The idea is to move your forehead towards your feet. Don't worry about obviously them not coming down close enough. This is the practice of yin. It's really just allowing the movements of your body to open up through releasing of your breath. So it's inhale and then exhale, fold over, dropping your head and neck. So it's amazing how much tension we carry in our neck and we don't even realize it until we start to release, maybe looking left and looking right and gently just dropping our head. So on the inhale, feel length created through your spine and on the exhale, just release gently into the pose. And then finding your breath here. Dropping your head. Releasing your neck. Feeling a nice opening in your hips. And then, if your mind wanders, gently bringing it back to your breath. As we train our minds to come back we train in stability and we train in being calm by continually focusing on our breath. And then rising up, lengthening out, and coming to dragonfly pose. So your legs are out, whatever's comfortable. You don't want to go too wide because you don't want to strain yourself. So this is working on our inner thighs here. And if you have a bolster, feel free to grab that or even a pillow. A lot of people do yin in bed because you have all these wonderful props available to you. Um, and it's a nice way to end your evening. So we're gonna tilt our pelvis forward, bringing our belly button into our spine and legs can be relaxed. And then on the inhale, lengthen through the crown of your head and on the exhale, just gently fold over. So the same kind of motion 
as before, but here you should be feeling it in your adductor muscles, your inner thighs. And then also, again, releasing your head and neck and gently allowing your breath to carry you deeper into the pose. So yin gives us the opportunity to watch our resistance come up if we hold the poses too long and we may want to come out of the pose. Um, we have the opportunity not to follow our initial reaction to our mind. So in that, this practice allows us to find our inner peace by realizing that we are not our thoughts. We have a true essence that we can access always within ourselves that is beautiful and joyful and peaceful. Inhaling and exhaling. And then rolling up here, removing the bolster. I'm going to just show you gently bringing your knees together. And we're going to move into this beautiful hip stretch. Um, so coming into a half lunge. So your right foot is up and your left knee is back. You want to create distance between your left knee and your right heel. So kind of slide your left leg behind you. And then here, your, your right knee can move forward above your toe. Normally in yoga, we like a 90 degree angle, but here it's okay. And then we're just working on lengthening through that left hip flexor. So inhaling, again, finding your breath, lengthening through the crown of your head, and then exhaling, just releasing into that pose and dropping in. So finding where you may feel tightness and inhaling a healing, loving breath in that area. Imagine the breath traveling through the crown, your crown chakra, the top of your head, down your third eye, your throat chakra, your heart center, traveling all the way down your spine, your root chakra, and down through your legs to the tip of your toes, cleansing with every inhale and detoxing with every exhale. And then moving back, we're gonna lengthen, straightening our right leg and coming into a hamstring stretch. So as I said, most of the time in poses you wanna hold three to four minutes. Today we're just giving you a preview so we're not gonna hold them as long, but feel free to do this for longer at home. So inhale, lengthen through the crown of your head, right leg is long, getting a nice stretch here. You may want to have to come up on blocks to lengthen your spine before you move down. Just going to your first edge here, never pushing. You don't want to be pulling or pushing anything, just coming to your edge and then letting your breath do the work. So exhaling, reaching your chest down towards your thigh, and again, dropping that head right and left. And then bending your right knee to come out, bringing both knees back together, shaking up your hips, and then moving into the other side, your left leg comes forward, space between your right knee and your left heel. Again, knee can come forward, dropping into that right hip, just allowing your head and your neck to release. It should feel really good to you as you drop down. Especially, we're always tight in our hips and they're really hard to find a way to, to release that tension. And the hip flexor, the psoas muscle are really important, especially if you do yoga for back bends and things like that. So, always good to stretch our hips. Inhale. And then on the next exhale, we're gonna straighten that left leg, working our hamstring stretch on the left side. So again, lengthen, get tall, bringing your navel into your spine and then exhale, forward fold. So dropping that head towards your leg. You want your hips in a straight line. You really don't want your left hip 
coming too far forward. So again, coming to that first edge and then dropping down. Inhaling and exhaling. And then moving that left knee back. We'll come into our final pose today. So bring your knees together, your feet outside. You want to sit down in between your legs. So this may take some getting used to. You can start here. You don't want to feel any twinging in your knee or anything. If you do, then don't do this pose. But if it's okay, if your knees are okay, we're just going to move back. So you want to just walk your hands back and maybe just start on your forearms. Inhaling and exhaling. You can also use a prop here. You can move this bolster right under your spine and rolling back. Ah, oh, and relaxing. This is a great release for your back, for your quads, opening your chest and your shoulders. And it's also very peaceful and a great way to end the evening of the day. So closing your eyes and taking five mindful breaths here. Inhaling and exhaling. Seeing if you can lengthen the count of your inhales and then pausing at the top of your inhale and lengthen your exhales. Deepening your breath. And one more inhale. Really feel your lungs. And then exhale. Fully release. So to come out of this, hands come up to prop you up and gently take your hands to the side and extend your legs forward. And there you have it. That was your basic introduction to yin. Um, thank you for joining me and we hope to see you at the studio or online, verywindystudios.com. Thank you so much. Namaste.